based on the latest United Nations estimates and projections of global population, which were launched last year in July, India is projected to overtake China as the world's most populous country during the current month, April of 2023. India surpassed China as the most populous country on the planet. In, in the coming months, India will overtake China as the most populous, populous nation in the world. India will surpass China as having the world's largest population. Upon hearing the news of India surpassing China in population, Western media celebrated this milestone. Numerous news outlets in the West expressed delight in reporting that the world's largest democratic country had finally exceeded China in terms of population. According to data from the United Nations, India's population is projected to reach 1.428 billion people, matching and eventually surpassing mainland China's population. China's population peaked at 1.426 billion in 2022 and has since started to decline. Predictions suggest that China's population could drop below 1 billion by the end of the century. In contrast, India's population is expected to continue growing for several decades. The question arises, could India's burgeoning population and potential labor force become the next significant economic narrative, seizing the opportunity presented by China's economic challenges? Alternatively, does the world's largest democracy face vulnerabilities that could thwart these aspirations? In this video, we will delve into these questions. But before you proceed, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel to ensure you receive more captivating videos like this one. A well-educated labor pool. In an ideal setting, a growing, young, and educated workforce represents a significant asset for any economy. The emergence of a burgeoning middle class engaging in consumer markets also becomes appealing on the global stage for trade and investment interactions. With two-thirds of India's population below the age of 35, this demographic advantage is expected to persist for at least a decade after China's population begins to decline. However, unlocking this advantage requires specific conditions to be met. The foremost condition is undoubtedly a well-educated workforce. India's youth bulge is a double-edged sword. To harness its potential, India must generate sufficient employment opportunities for the millions entering its workforce annually, a challenge it is presently struggling to meet. To address this, India must attract global investments. The time available for seizing this opportunity is diminishing rapidly, and unless India acts swiftly, its demographic dividend could easily transform into an unemployment crisis. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin once said, When assessing a country's demographic dividend, we need to look at not just its size, but also its quality. Size matters, but what matters more is talent resources. Nearly 900 million of the 1.4 billion Chinese are of working age and on average have received 10.9 years of education. China has successfully cultivated a significantly larger, educated and healthy workforce in comparison to India a distinction that is evident in the substantial size of China's middle class as opposed to India's. According to the Pew survey based in the United States, the middle and upper middle income population in China, living on $1.10 to $1.50 a day, reached nearly 800 million in 2021, accomplished within 40 years since the initiation of Deng Xiaoping's reforms. In stark contrast, India's middle and upper middle income population, as per Pew, stands at a modest 121 million. Consequently, China's consuming middle and upper middle class is more than seven times that of India. This stark contrast is clearly reflected in the automobile industry, with China selling 26 million passenger cars in 2022 compared to India's 3.7 million a ratio exceeding sevenfold. Furthermore, 
China's GDP, approaching $18 trillion, is six times larger than India's. China's robust and economically empowered middle class significantly outnumbers that of India. While India has witnessed rapid growth since the initiation of economic reforms in 1991, it still ranks in the bottom 25% of economies in terms of per capita income. Interestingly, the Pew survey highlights a substantial concentration of low-income individuals in India, living on $2 to $10 a day, with approximately 1.19 billion people falling within this income bracket. This is indicative of a persistent low-income trap, largely attributed to 55% of the population remaining engaged in agriculture-related activities. China's Unprecedented Urban Transformation Forty years ago, the two most populous and economically challenged countries, China and India, faced comparable economic prospects. With the majority of their workforce entrenched in subsistence farming and limited natural resources, the trajectory of their development hinged on the success of their urbanization endeavors. In 1980, India initially led with an urbanization ratio of 25%, surpassing China's 20%. However, in the present day, China has more than doubled its ratio to 64%, while India has only marginally increased to 37%, with noticeable prevalence of slum areas. Over the past four decades, China has successfully lifted nearly 800 million people out of poverty, constituting over 75% of global poverty reduction. Conversely, despite India's notable progress in the service sector, it has struggled to cultivate a thriving manufacturing sector, leaving a significant portion of its labor force engaged in low-productivity rural activities. This disparity underscores the importance many place on a revamped urbanization process for India's development agenda. Despite being the world's most populous country, India's urbanization rate lags considerably behind that of many nations. The divergence in the success of urbanization between India and China can be elucidated through two key indicators, the ratio of urban to rural incomes and the contrasting property prices in urban areas. The urban to rural income ratio provides insight into the productivity differentials between cities and rural areas. China boasts a ratio of 3.2, the highest globally, signifying that urban workers are more than three times as productive as their rural counterparts and their compensation reflects this. This productivity gap has attracted around 270 million migrant workers to Chinese cities, seeking higher paying industrial jobs. In contrast, India's ratio is 1.6, one of the lowest among emerging market economies, indicating only a moderate increase in urban productivity compared to rural areas. Consequently, Indian cities do not serve as a significant magnet for higher earnings. Another crucial indicator is the relative disparity in property prices between China and India. China's major cities have witnessed a five-fold increase in property prices in renminbi terms, or nearly seven-fold in U.S. dollars over the past decade. Despite concerns about a potential property bubble, prices in Beijing and Shanghai remain only half of those in their Indian counterparts, New Delhi and Mumbai. Due to the substantially lower productivity-related benefits in India, the incentive for rural workers to migrate to cities is much less than in China. This is exacerbated by the comparatively higher cost of living in Indian cities, primarily driven by exorbitant property prices. These inflated property costs, coupled with logistical bottlenecks, place Indian manufacturers at a cost disadvantage in global markets despite lower wages. Consequently, these factors hinder India's progress.
Addressing these challenges is imperative for India to unlock the growth potential associated with a more rapid urbanization and industrialization process, similar to the trajectory observed in China and much of East Asia over the past four decades. Hence, despite having the largest population, India must confront its internal challenges to progress toward becoming a developed nation. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you anticipate India's economy surpassing China's in the next decade? Share your thoughts and comments below. If you enjoyed the content, express your support by hitting the like button. Most importantly, ensure you subscribe to our channel to receive additional engaging videos similar to this one.